Okay, we're in Pentecost, today's 300, day 326. Hey Jared, way to go. Okay. We got enough flame there, I guess. Unless you wanna hold it on standby. Have a nice day. Bye bye. So, along with, you know, the inspiring Canadians, uh, you know, on the How's it doing? Make this issue more priority. And the steps that, that needed to be taken uh, were to, to bring, uh, you know, a lot more awareness and, and education campaigns from coast to coast, you know, bring it into schools. Uh, bring it in the churches, bring it uh, throughout all the sectors of the community. Uh, and also we needed to look at our process, more steps into fixing the infrastructure. Because uh, here's the uh, scenario. Uh, I've talked to over 100,000 Canadians, uh, you know, as I'm walking along, and, and uh, I'm asking them, you know, how, how they feel about donating their organs and, you know, explaining the importance. And overwhelmingly, uh, Canadians, have a desire to donate the organs and all the research and all the statistics that have been done shows that over 90% of Canadians are willing to, to sign that card and, and donate the organs. So we have a willing public and then why is it that we're the lowest rate? So somewhere between the desire to donate the organ to <laughs> the actual donation of the organ, something's wrong, you know. So that's the infrastructure that we wanted to, to help to change. And can, can you pinpoint anything? Yes, we can. As to we, can. we can. We uh, can. Right now, we have a system where we're asking people to donate the organs by, uh, you know, signing a registry or a donor card in, in other provinces, and we're we're asking them to discuss this with the family because it's an important decision. But what happens is, is the decision is made after a tragedy. Right. And we're approaching the family to make the final decision at the worst time possible. Even after discussing the, the matter with the family, they're being approached in, in, in a state of shock and, and they're grief stricken. And in that moment, 10 lives are dependent on that moment, you know. So there's been over 50% of the times that, you know, families haven't been able to say yes at that moment, only to live with a lot of regret afterwards. We're also having hospital officials that are reluctant to approach the families when they see them in a state of shock. You know, so the one of the answers to that is, well, why not make our decisions legal binding? 
you know, why not, uh, I mean, it, we have more rights in, in, in where our cars go and our, our houses than we do with this precious wish. Uh, and if we did have it legal binding, the, the hospital officials can start the process earlier because there's a window of opportunity uh, that, that, you know, time is of the essence. So, uh, uh, with a legal binding decision, and, and this would be done in the same manner that a will uh, is carried out, uh, we would be able to, to not disturb the family at that moment. You know, be as less dependent on approaching that family. And as a result, you know, Canadians' wishes would get carried out and more lives are going to be saved. So this is the infrastructure that we're hoping to, to uh, influence uh, the uh, government to change. What about in your case? You had a liver transplant, what, seven years ago, was it? Uh, five years five ago. Five years ago? Yeah, yeah. What, what, did you have a, a long wait to get that? Um, I was on the waiting list for nine months. And, and just like many other people that are on the waiting list, uh, it, it, it feels desperate, you know, like it feels uh, because of the shortage. You know, you're not living in a comfortable situation. Uh, so I, uh, you know, uh, was rushed to the hospital three different times uh, with, with liver failure. The final time, I was told I only had two days left to live. So uh, the next day, an organ became available, and I was one of the fortunate Canadians, you know, and, and it was because somebody passed away. And a family made that exceptional decision, you know, when they were approached, which you can't depend on all the time. And as a result, my life was saved with five others, you know. And, and I wanted to, to acknowledge that decision in the highest way possible, you know. And that's, that's, that's why I'm walking across Canada, you know, to encourage every Canadian I meet about this, and, you know, and, and to influence all three levels of government. Is there some confusion? Like, I know that at one time, ICE, uh, uh, any good that you had to do a different system. In the province of Free C, we have a registry now, which is a good step forward. Okay. Uh, so, we, they are in the process of, uh, you know, distributing these uh, registry cards to, to as many communities as, uh, as possible in the province of uh, uh, British Columbia. And these cards are to be filled out and then it will be entered in a data bank, in a registry, so that the hospital officials will will have a you know a good idea of who the organ donors are. Once upon a time, and in other province, uh, they still have it on the health card or on the driver's license, and it's expected for the police officer or the hospital officials to look for the card, which makes it sometimes awkward, you know, very difficult to do. So the registry is definitely a, a, a good step in the right direction. Is BC the only problem? Yes, it is. Oh, sorry. Yes, it is. So we applaud uh, BC for, for doing that, you know, for to taking this uh, very important step. But uh, people should be aware that what they once had is no longer there and there's a new system now. And some of the people are not aware that there is a new system. And I think that is quite important. Exactly. So we're actually going to meet, well, I, I guess the Premier conceded. So. I guess the new premier, we're going to be meeting him tonight, and uh, we're going to give him our report, uh, you know, and uh, to let him know how important this issue is, and it should be right up there on top of uh, his agenda. So uh, we're going to, you know, try and persuade him to, to, to make sure that, you know, the, the uh, province of uh, British Columbia will get the best care possible when it comes to organ and tissue donation. This registry, is it with the Ministry of Health or through the organ transplant society? It's through the uh, Ministry of Health in okay. British Columbia. Right. Now, what we're trying to do is develop a national registry. Okay. You know, this is why I'm saying uh, British Columbia took a very positive step. You know, they'll, they'll play a good example for the other provinces, but ultimately we want the federal government to, to create a national registry. And, uh, you know, these are all good positive steps in the right direction. Excellent. So you're right. here for the weekend? Right? Yes, and I'm here to... Uh, yeah, we're actually going to leave for Kelowna early, early uh, Tuesday morning, and uh, we're going to try and set up a booth at the uh, shopping plaza here in uh, Penticton over the weekend to distribute registry cards, you know, and uh, we also have, uh, you know, other plans while we're in the weekend. Usually when we hang around for a little bit, we, we get around the whole community to, to talk to people and you know, address groups and all that sort of thing. Have you met John? Yes, I have, earlier on. Yes, yes. I have. Okay. Uh, but there is an important link to... Uh